Riyadh Solar Cities, Egypt. We'd like to thank David McNair and Insync Creator Corporation for the great technology we have received today here in historic Cairo, supporting our initiative, Solar Cities, manufacturing biogas systems, digesters, and solar, si solar heater, heater systems. Thank you. And we would like to thank uh, American Electric and uh, American people for supporting our vision for our new green, clean Egypt. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's no, this is just um, from Kenya. Mm -hmm. The uh, project we're working on, they're doing their biogas system like this, made of a plastic bag, mm. because it's less expensive for the farmers. No. So it's the same as we do, but they put the cow dung and the food in one side, mm. the gas comes out there, and then the fertilizer goes to there. Mm. Yeah, I'll just show, to show you what we're working on there. You see, like this, and there's the system. Food in, gas out here, mm. slurry out for cooking and for lighting. No. But it doesn't last as long. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hi, I'm T.H. Kalhane and Mustafa Hussein from Solar Cities, and we're standing on the roof of Hussein Farag's house in Darb al-Ahmar, where our Solar Cities initiative has gone to the next level. That next level is finding efficient ways to grind food wastes so that they can become the food for the bacteria that make the kitchen cooking gas. And what takes us to the next level is the donation of the Insincorator by Emerson Electronics. And we're going to show you how we use that right now. We would like to thank David McNair and the great people at Insincorator Corporation and Emerson Electronics for bringing to Old Cairo this incredible new technology which blended with a very old technology creates a clean, green, healthy future for all of us. The old way that Hussein used to have to work to feed his biogas was to take his food waste, put it in a bucket, pour some hot water in, and then wait for a couple days for it to start fermenting and get soft and then grind it by hand and pour it in. But now, thanks to the insincorator, that is no longer necessary. We no longer have to worry about the smells that are generated when you let food sit and ferment for a couple days to get soft enough to put into the biogas. Let's show you how. We'll take you downstairs. So with the proper innovation and investment, it's possible to make kitchen waste to cooking gas, biogas solutions, turnkey and push button. One no longer has to put any kind of labor in or any thought. Once the system is set up right, you just clean your plate, scrape your plate into the kitchen sink, chop your food when you're cooking, put it right into the kitchen sink, press a button, and it automatically will go up to the roof biogas digester, and then the gas will come down to the kitchen so that you can cook, and all for free. The initial investment means having an insincorator food grinder and having a macerating pump to pump it up to the roof. 
Today, thanks to Insincorator Corporation, the first piece of that puzzle has been put into place in Old Cairo. It actually becomes this simple. Right now, since we don't have the pump to pump the food up to the roof, we'll just use a simple bucket. But the concept is very simple. We put the bucket under the insincorator in the kitchen sink. The ratio is one part food waste to one part water. That's what we have in this bucket. It's a simple push button operation. Turn on the insincorator, pour the food waste in, and we'll let it grind. And from now on, dealing with food waste becomes a very clean and simple operation with absolutely no smell, no flies. And that's it. Press the button, turn it off, and you have some feedstock soup ready to go into the bio. Bacteria food. Bacteria, bacteria food. Yeah. We'll have a food with bacteria because the future, inshallah, will be with the bacteria. That's it. The future is with the bacteria. يعني يعني لو إحنا شغلنا مخنا وقلنا زي زي الشمس كده الشمس طول عمرها موجودة وكنش حد يفكر فيها لما مفكر وتشغل دماغك مع الشمس طلعنا منها ما يسقنا وطلع منها كهرباء وطلع منها كثير المستقبل اللي جاي كله مع البكتيريا البكتيريا هتخش في الدواء هتخش في الزراعة هتخش في ال هتقول لك لنا غاز هتعمل لي سمان وتطلع لي منتجات زراعيه عاليه طبيعيه ف ف اي ثينك ذا فيوتشر ويل بي ذا بكتيريا اي اجري اتفضل بليز اكل البكتيريا بتاعتي شرف <تصفيق> ليا ان انا اكل البكتيريا بتاعت عبد المحسن علشان يبقى في بايو جاز اكتر Allah, juice, juice, juice. Organic juice for bacteria. There we go. There it is. Do not have it till after the meal. Oh, it's plenty. You don't have to put more weight. Mish lazim to hot akthar. It would kabir. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, ah. You can work at this time, or at least? Oh, it's possible to work at this time. Ah. Yeah, it's possible to work at this time. The heat. Ah. Yeah, it's possible to work at this time. Ah. Yeah, it's possible to work at this time. Ah. البكتيريا تنشط اكثر من الصيف من الشتاء من الشتاء في البرد آه. البكتيريا بتتجمد او آه. بتموت او بتبقى ولية النشاط في الحر بتبقى اكثر نشاطا و... والبكتيريا ال... الاكل اللي بيبقى طالع كل ما كان عافن بيبقى احسن لها اه يعني على كده كمية الغاز اللي بتطلع في الشتاء بتختلف عن في الصيف؟ تبقى تقل تقل يمكن نص في النص ممكن تبقى ساعة ساعة ونص تبقى ساعة ساعة ونص في, في اليوم بس أنا أتوقع مع الجريدر اللي إحنا ركبناه ده آه إنه زي ما أنت شفت التقليب كان بيبقى صعب إزاي وكان ما بيدينيش نتيجة السوفت 100% كان في بعض حاجات بتبقى سليمة وبتاع وبتنزل جوه تعيش يعني ما, ما بتدوش بسرعة ما بتتحللش ف فدلوقتي جاي انا جاي ما يجي يعني ده انت كده عملت وجبه سهله للبكتيريا قعد البكتيريا دلوقتي عمال تشرب بالشلمون عصير وتنشط وتهيج 
وده معناه ان الغاز اللي هيطلع ممكن يطلع اكتر آه. فممكن اتوقع ساعتين ونص ثلاث ساعات مع آه. مع طبعا لان هو آه آه بيلاقي اكل ياكله بسهوله يعني طالما انه كده هينشط And then you can use the solar hot water to heat it so it does work in the winter. Ah, That's what I'm doing now in Germany. I have solar hot water. Try to. To show your people in 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 all this area in Cairo, all this area in Cairo, called the Al Qahira Al Fatimiya. I am living in the Qahira Al Fatimiya. One, my father is born here, and I am born here. And this house is a little small. I did a little work on it. And it was, of course, we know the problem of the roof. The most important thing in this matter is that the roof is not the problem of the roof. السماد بيطلع لي اورجانيك سماد طبيعي للزرع عشان احنا كل الامراض اللي جايه لنا جايه من السماد الكيماوي السماد الكيماوي اللي قتل المصريين وعمل مصون في امراض دلوقتي النهارده بطلع سماد من من شغل بطلعه من بواقي الاكل بتاعتي مع ميه سخنه مع الفكرة العبقرية اللي جابها توماس النهارده اللي هي اسمها جريتر جريتر وات سنك ان سنكريتر ان سنكريتر ان سنكريتر ان سنكريتر ده ده زي الخلاط او الـ او الماشينز كاتشن ماشين بتاع الـ بتاع البكتيريا فالفكرة دي ان سنكريتر بليز ان سنكريتر ان سنكريتر الفكرة دي عبقرية قوي عشان انا كنت الاول بغلب في زي ما فهمتكم بضطر احط الحاجه في ميه سخنه لمده يوم ولا يومين عشان تبقى سوفت واقعد اقلبها بايدي و... وما كانتش بتطلع ناعمه انما باستعمال الانسنكريتر ده فعلا هيخلي البكتيريا دي عندي هيصه وزيطه وفرحانه وبصحه تولد لي غاز تولد لي غاز وهتطلع لي سماد للزرع طبيعي المفروض انه هنا بيطلع لي الفايز هنا اهو باخده بس بيزرع زراعتي كلها <تصفيق>